I'm here with uh, Dr. Alan Light, and we're we've been I'm Carol Head, and we've been talking a little bit about um, the future of, of MECFS research. And uh, Dr. Light had some very interesting comments to make about about it. Um, you want to you want to sure. So uh, what what I what we were talking about was uh, you know whether or not we could actually get at chronic fatigue syndrome in any time in the near future. And what I what I had explained was I actually believe that chronic fatigue syndrome was going to be a much easier target both for to determine the actual mechanisms behind it and causes behind it and also, and also cure than, than Alzheimer's disease, than uh, many cancers, and then cardiovascular disease. And the reason I think so is that unlike those conditions that are a moving target, they change, their properties change over time and therefore the targets change over time and therefore you have to know every single target. Chronic fatigue syndrome uh, is more static, meaning that once it develops, it stays pretty much in the same shape. It may go up and down, up and down, but it doesn't evolve to something that actually kills you. And that's one of the problems, of course, for the patients. <laughs> if, I guess if patients died from that, there would actually have been a lot more, a lot more research already. But the fact that, that it seems to be uh, something that once it's fixed is relatively stable means that the, we only have one target we, got, we have to go after. Uh, so if we can figure out what that is, now there may be it may be one target in many different forms of that one target, so there could be many different forms of chronic, chronic fatigue syndrome and ME, which actually we believe there is, but if they all have a common source to them, uh, then in fact I think we can do this because we have the tools now. The molecular tools that we have are absolutely incredible. We can, we can do this. But in, in some ways, Dr. Light, there's been a, you know, cancer, Alzheimer's disease have a 30-year head start yeah. in the research, that's the fundamental research that's been done over MECFS. Um, how does that play into it? So it turns out that, of course, that actually is an advantage <laughs> because they've done a lot of the groundwork in terms of the molecular tools that we need to actually get at this, and many of the systems that are involved in cardiovascular systems, for example, are the same ones that are involved in chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh, and so as a result of that, we can use their 30-year advanced start means that, in fact, we have, it's given us many more tools that we can use to actually solve chronic fatigue syndrome. Yeah. And, do you, and you, you were talking earlier about the fatigue pathways, that you feel um, there really has been a fair amount of fundamental work done and, and that you, you developed some understanding of that that will, that will help lead to, to understanding this illness more quickly. Is, can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, right. So the, one of the, the whole uh, uh, aspects of this is that fatigue has been considered to be something that can't be studied for quite a while now. And everybody has questioned, uh, uh, and everybody has a different idea what fatigue is. From the research that we've been doing, and uh, uh, we've actually we've been able to actually uh, develop the, the, a concept of a fatigue system that actually uh, uh, is an integrated system as opposed to just little bits and pieces or to, to something that can't be studied. We can study it because we've actually identified the components of it. Uh, and as, as people become more and more aware of what these components are, uh, and what, what we believe they are is that the fatigue system in interacts with the cardiovascular system, uh, with the gastrointestinal system. It also it, it interacts with the brain. The brain itself is actually part of this too, part of the fatigue system. And the autonomic system is part of this. And if you, it, once you, I began to understand what the system was about, I realized that we could study each of those individual components and determine which parts of this were truly involved in causing the symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome. Plus, I think some of the groundwork that, that we have laid and others have laid in the field has made this more, uh, over time, it becomes much more a legitimate thing to study. And we've had no barriers at all. It seems like nearly everybody we've asked to help us with this has been willing. There is increasing interest yes. in MECFS, yeah. and certainly now a recognition with the IOM study that it's, yes. it is very real, it and, is physical, and, and it's you put, And you put that together with the amazing tools that we have, and I, this, is, this is something we can do. Well, that's so heartening to hear. Thank you so much. Take care.